Hello friends, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB. This is Nish Kumar Singh and you are watching ISTQB Foundation series. This is the last tutorial on this particular episode of the entire ISTQB Foundation 2018 syllabus and we are looking at the question number sample questions on the chapter 6. We will be having two questions as per the uh, exam structure from this table or this particular chapter but uh, just to make sure that these two questions also plays a vital role so do not exclude them in case you do not have an option rather to pick a choice out of the questions so like you know just because we have two questions from this chapter you can skip it you never know when these two questions becomes really important in contributing for 26 or more so let's look at the very first question uh, that is from this chapter and I'll be having some more questions to help you out with understanding the better way. The question number one from the list below which are the recommended principles for introducing a test tool to an organization. So here are some of the options given to you from the success factors which helps you to uh, follow throughout the organization uh, to select and roll out the tool to the organization. So we need to pick up the right option which would help you to understand the same. Roll out the tool to the entire organization at the same time? No, we have understood in the tutorial 3 that it is to roll out incrementally to the rest of the organizations because you cannot just take a risk of rolling out to the entire organization at the same time. Two, start with a pilot project. That's correct. When you talk about uh, pilot project, it is al always helpful to determine that how the tool is exactly helping you in the real-time statistics. Three, adapt and improve processes to fit the use of the tool. Correct. Provide training and coaching for the new users. Let each team decide their own way of using the tool. No, we have to set certain guidelines for using the tool, not the team independent decisions. Six, monitor that costs do not exceed the initial acquisition cost. That cannot be ever determined. Uh, it would really depend on how exactly the things goes in a real-time environment. So it might be maybe you know up or low, and that's not one of the parameter to be considered as a part of the selection of the tool. Seven, gather lessons learned from all the team members. Yes, of course, uh, you basically collect information from all different teams so that you can understand which team found it more useful. And based on this analysis, we identify that the right answer is C, that is 2347, to be selected as the principles for introducing a test tool. Let's look at the next one here. Which of the following best describes uh, a characteristic of a keyword-driven test execution tool? So this is how they can ask you a question from the special consideration for test execution tool, and that is keyword-driven. Uh, the option A, the table with test input data, action word, expected result, control execution of the system under test. And yes, action word is also known as keyword. So that's a synonym for keyword, and that would be the most relevant option as of now. Let's look at B. Actions of testers are automated using a script that is rerun several times. That's repetition. C. Action of tester are automated using a script that is run with several set of test data input. That is data-driven testing. And D. The ability to log test result and compare them against the expected result stored in a text file is called as test comparator. So the right answer here is A, which deals with the right specific test definition to the keyword-driven testing. Number three, a software development and test organization would like to achieve the test efficiency improvement goals listed below. And that is, of course, about which would be the best supported by the test management tool. So we have four options, and we need to find out that option which will be best supported by a test management tool. Enable traceability between requirements, tests, and defects. B, optimize the ability of tests to identify failures. C, resolve defects faster. Or D, automate a selection of test cases for execution. Now, of course, from the special consideration of test management tool section, we have understood that uh, when you have a test management tool within your organization, it basically allows you to have traceability between the different components and testware within the entire process. So A would be the most relevant option to be answered, which would be selected as a part of this particular tool. And that would be best supported by a test management tool. Number four, which of the following is most likely to be used as a reason for using a pilot project to introduce a tool into the organization? So here they are trying to ask you what is the benefit or maybe objective of having pilot project within the organization and also how does it help you 
as an additional information provider to the selection of a tool. A. The need to evaluate how the tool fits with existing process and practices and determine what would need to change. That's one of the objective of pilot project, but let's look at the other option as several. B. The need to evaluate the test automation skills and training, mentoring and coaching needs for the tester who will use the tool. Uh, yes, that's one of the good things to be considered, but of course before selecting a tool, not during the pilot project. C. The need to evaluate whether the tool provides the required functionality and does not duplicate existing test tools. Of course, you will not do that when you have already procured the tool. So you will obviously take care of this before selecting the tool. D. The need to evaluate the tool vendor in terms of the training and other support they provide. Of course, that would be also done, taken care before selecting a tool. And the most relevant option as of now is A, which supports the objective of uh, having a pilot project being done within the organization. One last question from this chapter to understand uh, how the questions can be asked to you and that is from the tool classification. So here they have given you different tools and uh, different objectives of each tool that is their categories where they fall. And all you have to do is match the following with the classification and the tool name. So here if you remember from the tutorial one which I have given you the classification understanding uh, we have performance measurement and dynamic analysis tool and there is a hint when you say dynamic analysis the B option here is dynamic analysis tool. Two, test execution and logging of course that would help you to uh, do the requirement coverage because by execution you can enable a coverage like statement coverage, requirement coverage and code coverage and so on. Next, management of testing and testware. Of course, management comes the word with defect management, which allows you to do the defect management within the uh, organization, of course, will be a part of management and of testing and testware. Test design is all about test case preparation, of course, requires test data preparation tool, which will assist with preparation of the test data to support your test cases. And based on this understanding, we have B as the right option selected for this match the following. So these are some of the sample examples of the questions which can be expected in the examination from the chapter 6. But of course, you will be having only two questions from the examination. So keep that in mind, but prepare accordingly so that you are prepared for any type of question from any of the segment in this chapter. So finally, that's all from here, team. Uh, we had done all over whatever we have, were supposed to do before we could wind up. And still, if you have anything else, you are free always to comment below to let me know uh, so that I can help you with any understanding or beyond the tutorials also. So feel free to comment below to address your queries. And this is our last tutorial on this series. And just to tell you that we will be looking forward to have a new series on Agile coming up next to following the week. Because this week I'll be just uh, having certain other assignments to be taken care. So next week you can expect the kickoff of the Agile certification. And in case you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe for that. Following Agile, we might be looking at the advanced level certifications of ISTQB, which would help you to understand that and prepare for the examinations as well. Looking forward for your kind assistance and support as well to grow the channel and uh, looking forward to serve you the best towards the examination preparation. So thanks for being online team and thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for contributing to the success of this channel and also inspiring me with uh, supporting with your likes and other things on the video. So thanks for watching the TDO team. Uh, this is Nish Kumar Singh signing off with this particular series. We'll be coming back soon with another tutorial. Thank you team. Take care and happy learning.